Hi. I had a client that had a interesting problem. Um, they've got a, for lack of a better term, we'll call it a user's table. It's very wide. It's got, I don't know, 80 to 100 columns in it. It has a lot of, a lot of, a lot of my clients do. They have these very wide tables, which makes it incredibly difficult to index properly. You wind up, instead of the old Brent 5 and 5 rule, you wind up with the 20 and 30 rule, which is, of course, not a thing. Um, so instead of sharing all their information with you, which would get me fired, of course, um, I'm, I'm going to use what I show you what I did as a possible solution for them um, for using the Stack Overflow database. Um, there's, I'm going to turn the camera off here, otherwise I'll, I'll, be, you know, I'll be staring here instead of here, and we don't want that. Okay, the basis of this is they want to get a user ID where one of the three or four phone number columns they have in the table, two, two specifically, phone one and phone two, matches whatever their input parameter is. You know, So we'll use the pizza place number, two, one, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what they want to put in. Well, I'm going to use the uh, users table in Stack Overflow, which does not have phone numbers in it that I'm aware of. But the problem is, because it's, it's but the really the biggest problem with this whole thing and the makes it problem problematic is the or. So where phone number one is this, or it's over here in this column, or not, or both. I don't know the hundred percent the logic on it, but the idea is the same. If I index on phone one and phone two, and I and I find it in phone one column, I stop there because one side of the or has been met, procedure is done. So it's doing a seek. And this is a 10 million row table. Wide columns, but I've got a, a two-column index if you don't count the, the clustered in, the clustered column. Um, so it's much narrower. And just doing that one index took this co the query cost from like 700 and something down to 50. Because a lot of them are in the phone two, which is the second column in the index. So if it doesn't find it in the first one, it now has to scan 10 million rows of a very narrow index, but still, that's where I saved, you know, 650, 660 of the cost, but it's still taking like a second to run, and it runs a bunch. Uh, in the most recent example, I saw 500,000 times over a couple of days. That's a lot, and it's a very, very busy active server with a lot of RAM, a lot of CPU, a whole bunch of databases, um, and some other things. They have a hard limit on some of these super wide tables of, um, of, 32 indexes or fewer, which sounds like a lot, um, and in some cases maybe it is, but there are a few access applications laying around that cannot link to a table that has more than 32 indexes. So yes, I know access, whatever. We'll work on that later. But So I'm stuck with how do I get them some performance and get them seeks and not go over the index limit, but not also not disable or drop some indexes that might actually be needed. So looking at a code solution here. So enough of that. What I did is I took the Stack Overflow database, and in case you've never seen it before, this is pure dark mode in Management Studio 21, which is in public preview. It's lovely. Um, this has made my life better already just in the last couple months. So Stack Overflow database, I'm using the users table. I think this one is case sensitive, I'm not sure. But you can see users has one index on it, and I'll refresh just because I'm a nice guy. I want to prove things. It's just a clustered index. This is just a Stack Overflow public data dump. I go down here to views because, spoiler alert, I'm going to create indexed views to make to see if I can make this go faster. Views, I've got a display name view and a location because what I'm doing is I'm taking display name and location as my phone one, phone two from above. So I'm going to create some index views. I mean, it's just creating a view, really. It's to create view, but here's the key. You got to create a clustered index on it, and you got to create your non-clustered index on the field you care about. Pretend that the, the display name is phone one. Same thing, we're going to create a view on location, and it's going to be create the view, create the clustered index, create non-clustered locate lo, non-clustered location index. So they each got one column, not counting the, the secret the secret column. Um, so those exist here. You can see the index is here, not on the table level. It's showing down here which is what you would expect. So the really short version of this is I'm plugging in, I could have parameterized this and stuck it in, made a short procedure, but this is easier for testing. Um, there are a lot of people who like to use the name Dallas. Some people actually have the name Dallas. I know three or four people that do. So, but you know, I'm Dallas Biker, 
in my my online not at work activities because I ride bikes, and uh, that's been my name for ever, ever and ever. But for Dallas Wildcard or location in Dallas, because Dallas is a big city, the odds are I'm going to have some of each of these. And spoiler again, I did. So what I'm doing is I'm just temp tabling. I've created the views, uh, both, and they were successful. I had a little fiddle around with the syntax, but it wasn't. Bad. There's a lot of gotchas with index views. Go to the Microsoft site and look it up and read the very long list of things. But what I'm doing is I'm dumping where we're like Dallas into a display name temp table. Same thing with location. So now I've got two temp tables and I'm just going to join them. I can do whatever join I want here. It doesn't really matter. I'll send this over to my customer and they'll do whatever makes sense logic wise to get the right answer or they'll trash this because it doesn't meet some other bit of logic. But the idea here was great. Um, so set st statistics time OI on because I was looking at this and it was more more compile time than it was scanning time, which was odd. But we'll turn that on and then hide it. And then we'll run all of this at once, which is going to be populate a tip table, populate another one, join them, drop them. Simple as that. It's already done, and that was an inner join. But what I really, really want you to see here is the execution plans. Right here, we do a index seek on the non-clustered index on the view. So the index view got pulled here. Same thing down here, index seek. These went really, really fast, and I don't really particularly care about the resulting you know, index recommendation on the thing yeah i don't care that's that's not going to work for me at all but the uh setting the statistics i on i on this is the magic of it you see in the operators it did what i wanted it to do but more importantly logical and physical reads of the first one eight it's fifty thousand on my customer's machine doing it the way they're doing it with the one index with two columns which i suggested to them and it made it did make it better but not better enough because that's good. that's good English right there. Logical and physical on the other one, 60. 8 and 60 reads is nothing. Especially when you go down here and you look and see that the whole thing took 80 milliseconds because the data pages were already in memory. 230 something milliseconds to run, but it's just running bang, 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 just like that versus a second, a second and a half, depending on how busy the server is because this thing's getting hit all the time and I have no idea how the logic works on it or what they're doing with it. But I'm gonna change this just for fun to a full outer join. Get rid of that window. Okay, I'll run all of this as one again. Bang, still done, still fast. Didn't need a, didn't get an index recommendation this time, that's funny, but here we go, logical reads eight and 60, because I'm still using Dallas. I, I probably could use Bob or something like that. Um, but 192 milliseconds versus 1500 milliseconds is, is a complete and total win. If the logic checks out for my client, at least explore this kind of thing. When you've got weird indexing thing and you know you can't add another index to your table, Make sure that you're indexing on columns that are selective and more likely to have something in them and, you know, Column order matters. It has always mattered. Don't put bit columns at the front because, you know, unless you've got like this much, you know, five rows of the thing you're looking for and a million rows of the other thing, it's probably not going to help you much. The more selective, the better. Things that are in the where clause get looked at first, then your joins and things like that. So get all that right and play around with this stuff in your test environment. Don't do this in prod. Read up on the gotchas on index views and, and, and let me know if you have any questions. It's not my strongest area. I had to go read the documentation because I've never in my life created an index view, no, my DBA life or any other. Um, but this may very well be the answer, and I'm sure, I certainly hope it is. That's all I've got.